What up, Smart Rapid Gang? Today we're gonna to talk about how to make a demo. It's actually something that a lot of people actually ask. Some people don't know what a demo is, some people don't know how to make a demo. I'm gonna tell you all that stuff today, all right? I'm Rob Level, this is Smart Rapper, the number one source for rappers, and I'm gonna teach you what a demo is and how to make one. Rap the intro. If there's anything I know is you ain't built like this. Hit it so I make a brain say quit. I ain't no fraud, no gangsta or goon. I just want to accept this speck or lose. Now follow me to greatness, show you what it take. Show you how to use curse, show you why they hate it. Hungry for more like a Lloyd Banks playlist. Still don't like the only person not up in the matrix. First off, for people who don't understand or know what a demo is, basically demo is short for demonstration. They're made and used to demonstrate the capabilities of a song for a music group or a rapper or a pop artist, whatever, to show the potential of what the full actual song could sound like. A lot of times before an artist makes a full finished version of a song, they have a sample of a song that they then say, okay, cool, they show it to people they know and they go, do you like this enough to actually finish this? And then they say, yeah, this is actually good. I can see this being great and then they make the finished version. But the thing that they're showing is that demo. So here's an example of Eminem's Lose Yourself when it was just a demo that he was showing to Dre and showing to other people before he decided to make it a finished song. And you better just lose yourself in this music, this moment. We own it, we won't ever let it go. You better move yourself, cause the marbles ass can wait. There is no time to sit there and procrastinate. You better lose yourself in this music. This then of course he recorded it and made it his final version of the song. The point in a demo is that you can make it really quickly without any pressure of having to finish the song. You're like, no, I'm just gonna see what this would sound like. Let me give it a shot. And you can pretty much half-ass it or not have all that anxiety with doing a demo of a song because you know that you're not gonna release this. This is just the, the demo. Now this is a really powerful tool for songwriting because this means you can actually make a bunch of demos, right? And with no anxiety of being like, I gotta record, oh, like you can make demos where you're like, you're not releasing these. And then you can come back and later to review them to actually know which one should I finish? Are they actually worth finishing? And I do this all the time. Now let's talk about how to make a demo. To make a demo of a song, generally you'll finish writing about 85% to 100% of the song. And then you'll record all of that just with all the ideas that you had for the song in general. Lyrics might change, melodies might change, arrangement might change, but if the better and closer you get it to finished, the better of a demo it's gonna be. So you're pretty much gonna write the song as you would usually write the song. Then arrange the song with it written, the lyrics and everything, in the way that you expect for the song to be arranged. Is it verse first? Is it, you know, or is it the hook first? Then you go ahead and you record the demo. Since it's all arranged, now you can take it into the song, you bring in the Pro Tools, bring it into whatever your digital audio workstation is, and you start recording it. Record the verses, record the hook, record the middle eight, the bridge, record the intro, record the outro, and just do it, even if you half-ass it, do it, now you have a demo of it, okay? Then you're gonna do a rough mix, which is you just setting the levels, making sure that everything's in the right place, the ad-libs, the voiceovers, the main vocal, the beat, make sure they're all set in the right area and the right levels, so that you can actually listen to it and have a firmer understanding of what it would sound like you finish, you know what I'm saying? It's an unmixed, unfinished version, but you still got to sound good. If you're gonna show it to somebody, you wanna make sure that it doesn't sound like shit, because they're not gonna really see your vision for the song unless you have at least a basic, decent mix on the song, okay? Throw the EQ on there, throw the compressors on there, uh, throw a lot of, not a lot, but you can throw the delays on there, you know, throw some reverb, you know, it make it, make it sound a little bit better, a little bit more professional and high-end before you actually start showing people. Now that you have a reference track or um, a demo of your song, you can now go show friends, you can go show family, you can show trust fans and ask them if they like it. And what's great about this, also because it is a demo, you can tell them before you show them, like, hey, this isn't a finished version, it's not mixed and mastered, it's just a demo, like, I don't even know if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna finish this yet. So when they listen, they're not gonna judge you as much, like, oh, this is finished, like, do you like this, right? But now when you have this, what if they do like it, you can go ahead and finish the song. Now let's talk about how to make music more often with this process. There's a massive power in learning how to make a demo properly. Like, you're still gonna put the effort into it and you're still gonna write the song properly, you're gonna make that. But again, like I said before, the power it comes in where all the anxiety and pressure of you having to do it just right to be able to have a finished version to release it, that pressure is alleviated massively because you're just thinking, I just need to make this into a demo. And you'd be surprised. I have songs that have been like this where I would think I was just making a demo and then I'm like, oh my God, like this is so good because you're not trying. And when you don't try as hard, it's more natural. When you do something like this, it comes out better. It just does. For some weird reason, you just, you weren't stressed, you weren't pressured and it just flows better and you have a better version of the song than you would have if you were like stressing and trying to deliver it, right? So it's interesting because even maybe some parts of the song, maybe you did the hook as a demo, but you're like, I love how this sounds, 
right? But, but the verses like, I didn't really like that, I'll re-record that. You'll have pieces of the demo you'll be able to keep in your real version. This is so powerful. And it's all about telling yourself that every time I make a song, I'm just making a demo. Until you know it's not a demo and you have to actually finish the song. But if you keep the mindset of, it's just a demo. It's just to show people. It's just a demo. You're gonna jump over that hurdle of worrying about, I gotta finish the song. Honestly, this may be one of the best tricks that I've told people on how to overcome the writer's block. Okay, this right here is just tell yourself you're making a demo because you really are. Realistically, and if you don't have like a full out microphone set up and a really expensive microphone, stuff like that, in your head anyways, you should already be thinking, well, I'm gonna re-record this or um, I don't have the right microphone anyway, so this is gonna be a demo. So if you're using a microphone that costs under $200, you should be always be telling yourself you're making a demo anyways. Not that you can't really keep that version of it just because you used a cheaper microphone. It's easier for you to tell yourself it's gonna be a demo, especially if you have a cheaper microphone, okay? Because it's probably true. So for those of you who are anxious when recording or you have difficulties recording songs or you're scared to get on the microphone and things like that, think about it, it's a demo. Next time you record, I'm just making demos, write it fully done, and then record it like it's a demo and move to the next one come back to it you're gonna be like oh damn that actually sounds better than I thought it was and believe it or not okay and this is this is true this is 100% true my black and yellow remix that I made that that has like 5 million views on it that actually blew up and gave me all this buzz and the people who went to all my other songs stuff like that that song I remember my friends had left I was living in somebody's basement at the time and they all left to go out and party but I don't really ever party so I stayed there and I just started writing the black and yellow lyrics and I recorded it. And when I recorded it, I told myself, okay, I'm gonna re-record this. This is just the demo, like show them the bars. The bars are like so hard on this. I'm gonna show them when they come back. They came back and they heard it and they're like, you're not changing any of this. And I honestly was like, no, this is just, I'm just, this is just the blah, 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 blah version, okay? They're like, no, you're not changing any of this. And they started calling people and more people came over Then more people called, come over. And everybody was listening to this, like, this is fucking sick. And then they kept replay, replaying it and then like calling people like, you gotta hear this shit, da, da, da. Like that actually happened. It came out so nice because I told myself, I'm gonna re-record this. This is just a demo to show them the lyrics. Swear to God in my father's grave. And that blew the fuck up, okay? Anyway, I'm Rob Well, this is Smart Rapper. Please hit me with a subscribe, please hit me with a like, and please go out there and use this tip of demo. The power of getting rid of stress by telling yourself that it's a demo. Use this, I think that this is gonna help a lot of you out, okay? Glad I can help you out. Again, hit me with a like, hit me with a subscribe, hit the little bell when you do, so you get notified every time I release a new video, which is actually gonna be every single day starting here very soon. I'm very excited about that, okay? And tell a friend about Smart Rapper, all right? Appreciate y'all. I uh, have all the links below. I'll put a link to Black and Yellow below. I'll put a link um, to uh, all the new products and everything else like that we got on Smart Rapper. Let's keep spreading the word. Let's keep growing, all right? Get out there, make some songs, make some demos that become finished songs, right? Appreciate y'all. Keep awesome, gang. I'll see you at the top. Smart Rapper! Gang!